Right, I thought I would do you another video. I'll show you some pictures just to keep you going for a while. Pictures are already there on the Google page. I know that they've already said that Google Google Plus will be disappearing, I think, from the 1st of February. So then we will, I suppose, I will have to start a, you know, my own site, I suppose. So if any of you, well, I do suggest that all of you that's interested in this stuff go download every single image that's on my Google page uh, because when you go to Google now those specific images that I've got uh, many people have downloaded them and made them smaller and then downloaded them again to Google right so you know they're not even worth downloading you need to take them from my site keep them on a file more than once because uh, they're all extremely important and also do the same with all my videos I suggest that you download all my videos all onto a disc there's only 200 right uh, and yeah I will blow my own trumpet it is the finest work that's on YouTube to do with megalithics and the reason why I have stuck to my narrative is because of what they've been doing lately is removing any dissent to the garbage of you know what reality is here I don't want to get too much into it the reason why I stick to what I do is because I know what I'm talking about uh, and they would have to take this information down last okay Anyway, I've just got a few images here that I'm going to start with that I added. There's an album. Uh, just, and we will see where we're going to go uh, later. Soon enough. And I just want to show you a few things. And the reason why I never accept images from anybody is because, you know, I've only got so much time to do this, right? I don't do this for a living. Uh, I do this for myself and you lot are just coming on this journey uh, but this is uh, one of the reasons and you know they somebody sent me two of these I'm sorry I haven't got the other one I've had I've had many things like this this is just an example that I could find within the last five minutes uh, and it was obviously this thing here and as soon as I saw it I thought well this isn't ancient you know I've shown you loads of ancient technology and petrified machines imprints mainly well this is obviously just a wheel it's a wheel rim from something large you know like an off-road vehicle that's as clear as day but even this is t has turned into like stone almost the type of thing that I show but you can see that's all it is it's a rim but it's it's recent so you know I wouldn't add this to a video right and be caught out as being a fake so that's the reason why I don't accept any messages from anybody the other thing I want to show you is because they have been hiding history again and the video I made on Saxe Human on, on Giants I showed you this this was the block where I said it appeared to be a handprint of a giant whether you know whether the hand is inside this piece of rock but it's clearly a handprint you can see where the knuckles have dragged up you know if you squeeze something it would where your knuckles are where, you, where your joints of, of your fingers are would squeeze up material and that's exactly what's happened here unless it's literally a hand that's inside this block but they did come and destroy this artifact not long after I exposed it this is the block for all those morons that said that this is a different block it isn't they've just knocked the front of this right but these things are here so they've either knocked these in here or this is you know like an upside down photoshop or when this giant was squeezing this block into shape you know you would have one yeah one hand 
overlapping the other and squeeze it into shape. I don't know which it is, but it is the same block. That is that. They've just been redressing this wall, right? And it's for you know, and they've been digging areas out and it's further down. That is this thing here. And this appears to have bones or something inside, yeah? Look. The videos I've made on giants when I got into mud fossil research, when I deleted 90% of all those videos from what's been going on on that channel, uh, I've only kept three and they're all my findings. Uh, if any information that's not quite right on my channel, it's only the information to do with giants, right? Every single other piece of information that I show you on my channel is an absolute fact. Okay. But I, I do stand by this information anyway. And the reason why I've shown you that again is because of this thing. I just, I'm sorry that I haven't put the other one right next to it. Uh, I, will, I will get to this shortly in this video. I showed you this and I said it was one of the greatest finds I'd, I'd ever find found on mud fossils petrified bones of giants just because these squares are in here these have been done later okay from people's living in here probably because they knew what it was those two large circles there are where ball joints go you know you've got two ball joints say on the end of your leg or your arm yeah and that's where it goes and you do get that shape there as well but the main thing that that made me uh, conclude that it is exactly that and not you know and the fact that it's red it's got iron in it is that that is a bone and it l appears to be some type of rib you can see where the rest of the you know the rib cage has actually broken away if you look at it there yeah and then you've got this here it is a bone but this thing has been removed right so I want you to remember this because they have destroyed knocked that artifact off so if I wasn't right on what I said about this then they wouldn't have done that since would they I did see uh, just last week if you live in England they made another documentary on <laughs> the emperor's tomb there in china and you know none of it's a tomb but you know they call these the uh, terracotta army don't they and i've shown you how everything all these <clears throat> well let's say 90 percent of them were made from wood they've just turned into clay terracotta from being buried in in clay wet clay right and it's just saturated petrified wood or the wood has completely rotted away and as it's rotted away lime has leached into the voids and it forms perfect shapes right watch the video i made on this on the terracotta armor yeah unless you want to believe that this brawler here is also made out of terracotta and these yeah and these horses here are made out of terra terracotta these wheels are able to take all this weight right so if you haven't figured out what i've just told you there and you still believe that it's uh, made out of, of terracotta then you're completely brain dead uh, the reason why i've shown you this once before all the videos I made on dolmens that I keep on uh, going on about. I do want to get into a video soon enough in showing you uh, just how much <clears throat> the earth has been, let's say, covered in sand and silt and to what depth. Because, no, look, every time that there's a, a building site, an excavation area, where I live, no matter where I go, there are meters and meters and meters of sand and silt, just like this, with about a two inch layer of uh, soil. Yeah, the earth was 
flooded in the great flood and everywhere is covered in meters and meters of sand so for the idiots that come to the channel saying well, you know i don't see any evidence of a great flood well i've made 200 videos on my channel and things like this should show you uh, but this is another example of what i've just been talking about about the terracotta army this was a mud house like a dolmen structure where they built them out of wood straw and then smothered them in in mud right and you can see where they binded this with some type of emp yeah you know they would have a wooden frame then they binded it with emp and then smothered it in mud and you can see the imprint on on this right it's as clear as day so that's your example there just like this this one here I've shown you one or two of these this is mud rock okay uh, and it turns to this in you know not much time at all this will have been a house or a wall the fact that it's shaped like this i think it was some type of house the wood will have gone in between these rocks now right these rocks here will have been mud that was smothered in between wood right the wood has since rotted away and you, and you're just left with mud rock which is slate this is slate because again mud, mud rot mud rock is slate and that's why you ended up with this shape okay right so the next album right so we will move on so you can go look at these by yourself uh, and look at why I wrote these in here uh, I suppose I would that's all I wanted to get across you can go check these albums out these pictures out the very large uh, again nothing is rock cut that's a nice one to zoom in on uh, you know where you see something like this you see these square holes where you've got a ridge that's where a they make them the exact same today they are metal uh, steel or iron beams right and they've got a little ridge on them where they jam them into an area so they don't move and obviously that's rotted away and you're just left with an imprint so this will have been concrete right and it's just solidified into either limestone or sandstone in the ways that I've, I've talked about yeah you can zoom in on all these this is in Turkey and these are obviously pillars because people think that these were carved and dragged from somewhere but you can see that this is concrete it's almost Portland yeah it's not rotted away because it's been underwater and it solidifies but you can see where the iron bars which have since rusted away connected this stuff together that's a great image that is Lebanon and you can see the square hole down there at the bottom that's the exact same thing this thing here was uh, at one time some type of uh, like a metal staircase that you get outside of a building you know when you walk out of your window and you've got a metal staircase and all you're left with it is an imprint you can see where it joined together and bolted into place and it's all just collapsed and you're left with an imprint go look at that image again nothing is rock cut it's solidified concrete it all turns to sandstone or limestone uh, this thing here i've wrote inner inner or box construction still visible if you look here there's a square 
you know you can, you can see a square there so this will have been wood in between here and it was packed in with either concrete or mud you can see where the wooden lats were here that's not being shaped like that you don't shape things to look like it's been built with wood okay 